Hello, hope you're having a great day. Now today is one of them days where everything is feeling like a bit of a drag, but it's also one of them days where I'm kind of proving to myself how key momentum is. I woke up at half seven this morning, but didn't get up out of bed until eight. And then, yeah, I was just really sluggish to get going. Once I'd had my water and my salt water and my vitamin C, I felt a little bit better and like couldn't be bothered to brush my teeth, which is what I would do next in my sequence of my morning routine. So I came into the living room and I was writing my journal. And, you know, again, my mind felt a bit foggy, but I just, you know, cracked on with it. I wasn't feeling negative or anything like that. Then I cracked on with my meditation session. You know, I didn't really feel like I was getting present at the beginning but then actually in the middle felt like I was getting really present and then yeah really struggled to sort of you know then brush my teeth and get my shoes on and go for my walk and you know sort of halfway around the walk I was you know listening to a podcast as I always do and yeah really got into it then when I got home and sat down to take my shoes off again I just felt like sluggish and as if I could just stop and do nothing so yeah it does show how key you know momentum is and just getting going and doing something is always the answer because you know at any point if I stop too much then I really will stop now today's going to be another one of them days where I haven't got loads of time to do much of anything um, I've got boxing today which I'm really looking forward to and it's going to be a killer that's my second session of the week you know I've only just started doing two a week and that's at 12 midday so you know I ain't got loads of time to do you know work and stuff before then and this afternoon we've been invited to a barbecue at my girlfriend Kat's parents place so I'm not going to be able to do loads and loads of work you know in the afternoon either so my mind's kind of telling me you know that I'm not doing enough at the moment um, as you'll know if you've been watching these videos, I am a bit hard on myself. Nowadays I have to be hard on myself because my whole life I've been too easy on myself. But yeah, it's like, you know, the last, you know, today and yesterday haven't really done much of anything. So my mind is telling me that I'm not sort of working hard enough. But you know what, it is Saturday today and Kat is doing nights next week. So I won't be able to spend much time with her then. And yeah, you know, I know loads of you guys that watch these videos are always getting in touch with me telling me that I should chill out a little bit. So I'm trying not to dwell on the fact that, you know, yesterday and today hasn't been, you know, work, 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 work. And, you know, I'm just grateful that I'm living this clean life. I'm grateful that I've got through the dark spell recently. And I'm grateful that I am still focused on my health and fitness, which is, you know, way more important than work. Anyway, I have just got back from my walk around the block and I need to crack on with my exercises because I'm literally going to boxing in a matter of hours. I do need to try and take it a bit easy, but I need to go through the motions and do my exercises and then jump in a cold shower and have some breakfast. So let's go. And this morning I've been listening to the latest Menaced Sobriety podcast, which is a podcast done by Dapper Laughs, who's a comedian and a guy who's decided to stop taking cocaine and stop drinking. And today he's got a guest on that he's had in quite a few times who is a hypnotist who helps people, you know, give up drugs. And it's actually the hypnotist doing the podcast and interviewing Dapper Laughs this time. Um, one thing I will say, if you are triggered by people talking about drugs, then they do, you know, talk quite frankly about taking drugs on Menace of Sobriety. So, um, yeah, that sort of stuff doesn't bother me much, but I know... Some people who are trying to not take drugs would rather not hear about it all the time. But other than that, definitely worth checking out Menace to Sobriety. Anyway, I'm going to bang out some crunches, some push-ups, and then I think for the third exercise I'll do some token shrugs. And the bar's quite light, so uh, yeah. Hopefully won't wear myself out too much before my boxing class. Alright, off I go to boxing and my beautiful girlfriend is giving me a lift, which saves me having to worry about finding a parking space. Gotta be honest, feeling a bit sick, <laughs> but we uh, did go to the cinema last night, so I ate loads of popcorn and sweets, so uh, it serves me right. Now, in terms of the work that I managed to get done 
before I'm going to boxing this morning. I basically only part edited yesterday's video on this channel. And I was planning to go round to the garage at home to do a bit of work on the car. There's some bits that I want to do that I don't necessarily need to film. You know, I can just do those bits and then film afterwards. So I was planning on doing those couple of bits and then I could just mention those bits when I actually start filming next, which is probably gonna be the day after tomorrow because tomorrow I really wanna try and sit down and edit the video that I'm currently working on so that I can release that tomorrow. And the video that I am working on at the moment is the one that I felt anxious about filming uh, about a week ago. So um, yeah, kind of been putting it off a bit, whereas I should have been chipping away at it you know, at least a little bit more than I have been the last couple of days, but yeah, I am uh, a bit anxious about that edit, but I'm sure it'll be fine <laughs> once I actually uh, do sit, sit down to properly edit it. Yeah, the reason I've decided not to bother doing those bits on the car this morning is because after boxing, there's always a risk that I get a migraine and I have blurred vision, which means I might not be able to sit in front of my MacBook and edit yesterday's video on this channel, which is why I decided to do as much of that as I can this morning. And um, yeah, I'll just leave the car stuff until I actually do start filming me working on the car uh, the day after tomorrow. So yeah, gonna make our way to boxing now. As I say, I'm not feeling great. I'm feeling a bit sick, but as long as the boxing session doesn't kill me, I know that once I get out of there, I'm gonna feel great. So uh, yeah, let's go. Well, I survived my boxing class, but uh, only just. So that's my first time that I've done two sessions in one week and uh, yeah, I felt it. <laughs> the way the boxing sessions go, there's two coaches and one of them does more sort of technical stuff. So you're sort of learning the art of boxing and one of them does more fitness stuff. And basically they alternate from week to week, but one of them does Thursdays and one of them does Tuesday, Friday and Saturday. So in future, as long as I go every Thursday and then just one other day, I'll, I'll be doing one session from each of the coaches. But this week I did two sessions, both with the guy that does the fitness stuff. So yeah, it really was a killer, but oh, I love it, man. When I get out of there, I just feel so good. Like I've said it before, but if any of you guys out there have ever sort of, you know, fantasized about going to try boxing, just do it. Like in every area, there's an amateur boxing club and they all do, you know, sort of fitness based um, sessions you know it's not all about becoming heavyweight champion of the world but I do hope to take on Tyson Fury one day anyway I need to get home now obviously have a shower and uh, yeah we've got a barbecue to go to at my girlfriend Kat's parents place uh, but before I do that I need to at least finish editing yesterday's video on this channel um, or take my MacBook with me to Kat's parents but uh, yeah, I wonder if I can squeeze in a haircut and a beard trim as well. All right, so just got back after a really good afternoon at Cat's parents. Ate quite a lot of meat from the barbecue, but did make a point of having some salad as well. And yeah, I am absolutely exhausted. My boxing class today definitely knackered me out. And um, yeah, it's now half 10 and I'm pretty sure I'll be going to bed very soon. Now, I definitely feel like I'm not pushing myself hard enough the last couple of days. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be interested to know your opinion, especially you guys that have been watching these videos every day. Now, I know a lot of you said that I should try and take it a bit easier than I have maybe, you know, sort of a couple of weeks ago. So um, yeah, maybe it's a good thing, you know, as long as I'm still cracking on with my health and my fitness and you know cracking on with my youtube stuff and you know and ultimately staying off of drinking drugs then i know i'm moving in the right direction but uh yeah i just feel like i haven't been pushing myself quite hard enough the last few days but um yeah it is what it is tomorrow i really really need to get my head in my macbook and i'm hoping to release the next car video if not that will definitely have to go out the day after so yeah today's been a really cool saturday and as always i want to send a massive thanks out to everyone who's got this far in the video and uh i'll be back for another one tomorrow i hope this one's been somewhat helpful or motivational but other than that i'll chat to you tomorrow